Dallas, the largest city in the Lone Star State, is the location where 1,000 people will descend upon the fourth reinstallment of HarmonyCon. And we're there to bring you all the highlights of the weekend at the Sheraton DFW Airport. And a good, good Thursday morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Red Card here. Um, uh, coming to you very, very early in the morning. Four, it's almost 4.30 in the morning. Um, I uh, am <laughs> I'm very tired. Uh, but we are headed to Dallas for our first convention of the year 2023. Uh, we're going to HarmonyCon in Dallas once again for, for our second time, um, and uh, I'm, I'm really excited. Uh, again, I said my, my, the fir first convention of the year for me. Um, we're going to be staying with, uh, with Taylor, with Achieve, with um, Nikki is going to be at this convention again, and Drummer Shy uh, as well. We're, we're all staying in the same room together. Uh, also, we've got a pretty stacked list of uh, community guests and guests of honor and musicians uh, as well. We've also, excuse me, we've also got a very busy weekend uh, ahead of us. A lot of events to participate in, a lot of panels that I'm on. It's gonna be a really busy weekend for me especially. Um, uh, we're, um, I'm gonna be refereeing Buckball tomorrow before opening ceremonies. Um, uh, got a sports parties panel tomorrow night. Uh, use your words. Um, um, we're, we're doing uh, Point of Life is Magic. We're doing a bluey uh, uh, riffing panel, um, and uh, yeah, we're also going to be seeing we're also going to be seeing some members of Step Two Harmony there. We got the um, the Milo Dating Game is coming is making its return again. Uh, they're doing the Friendship Cafe again. It, it should be a fun weekend. So um, I'm going to try. I'm 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 about to uh, head. Uh, to the airport very shortly, um, and um, let's get this let's get this party started. Look who I'm on the same okay. uh, same plane. Hello, Dalton. Want <laughs> <laughs> to see my tweet? I I I I I, 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 just, I just got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I I I I knew I, 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 I would be candid photo bombed like right off the bat like <laughs> somehow.
seconds fly Well, how about that? Well, how about that? I could be sitting here on a cloud Watching the sun as it starts to go down The only thing missing is you by my side Give me a smidge of confidence Give me a speck of something that makes sense Give me an idea of dependency Give me a dash of loyalty Welcome to Dallas Fort Worth. Oh my god. <laughs> Hello there. How do you enjoy the flight? Hey, it was alright. So we're on our way to the hotel and look who I am on the on the on the brony bus with <laughs> oh boy and um a couple a couple friends of ours are having are having some some issues with um um uh, like with weather um and um uh, uh another is actually um is um is gonna be uh uh is is not gonna be here this weekend because uh because uh, he's sick. Uh, uh, Nathanian is um, is not gonna is not gonna, is not gonna be here. Did he, did he specifically say what um, uh, what he came down with? He just said he was sick. So, yep. uh, so unfortunately, he yep. uh, he's gonna be a no show. Hopefully, you're better by the time you see this. Mm. <laughs> with with security already already shorthanded. Yeah. This is odd to come uh, to arrive to. Um, okay. Wait, which con was it that had a bomb prep pull on them before? I think it might have been Winnie City. I thought it was like what, Babs, or was it? No, no. no. Oh. I, I think. Or was it Trot? No, I think, I think I, I'm, 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 what, 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 what I, I'm, I'm, my gut is telling me it was Winnie City. That's. I'm gonna say fire and med. Ooh. That is very ominous. Yep. All right, we are close to Sheraton. <laughs> so, I'm gonna have fun explaining this to Taylor, Serge, and yeah, Nikki when they arrive, and awesome Drummer when they arrive. Yeah, hopefully. That big problem. It's a red card. <laughs> it's and a red card. Are we seriously vlog exceptioning right now? <laughs> hey, I've been. Yes. Bronco. Yes, we are. Yes. Oh, by the way, we met this guy who has been showing us his art, and it's actually really freaking good. I mean, yeah, it's a little hard to see because it's just pencil, but yeah, honestly, just proves again. All of it completely show style. <laughs> All of it completely show style, yeah, and it's been excellent. But yeah, so we're just chilling here in the lobby, talking, waiting for everyone to start leaking in. We've got some more guys. Can you back please here think of another word it. other than leaking? Like, 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 like crawling, maybe. Crawling. Think in. of the state of the fandom, and then tell me we're not leaking. <laughs> we're leaking the fandom to everyone, and to everyone. Or should I the say world. we're milking this fandom? Uh, no, 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 <laughs> no, no. That's. Stop looking at me like that. <laughs> we Stop. Everything around Stop the it. World. Stop and it. Get some today, help. I'm Michael Jordan. Take over I tried factor. getting help. It did not work. <laughs> <laughs> I think like more than likely Taylor will be the next guy showing up. All um, I, 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 I mean, I mean, oh, he I hasn't, I mean, I mean, he hasn't. Yeah. Put, uh, what? I think he I might. Got, uh, the dragon. No, that's oh. not, no, that's okay. not Dragon Zord. Okay. That's not Dragon Zord. Um, that's First Order. <laughs> first Order, oh. Um, I think, I think Taylor might be waiting to get 
picked up by um, a friend of ours. Um, uh, I actually, he hasn't actually, actually hasn't put any, uh, 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 tweeted any updates since he landed. Well, hopefully it'll be, well, at least he'll be easy to spot. I mean, it's impossible not to miss him. <laughs> yeah. He walks in, he's the epitome of Starlight Glimmer. I'm like, oh, look, there's Taylor. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there he is. I'm surprised he doesn't have fanfare saying, be, make way for the Are greatest they, uh, reformed villain of them all. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, Taylor. We love you. We all love you, brother. <laughs> you! You! No. What's going on? Uh. Oh my god. What's going on? Oh. What's going on? What do you think's going on after the Eagles lost the Super Bowl? I was I was angry when that happened. I was, my parents were being super annoying and they were yelling. Oh, and I'm like, can you please stop doing that? Yeah. That's annoying. Yeah, you should come to our, our sports party town tomorrow. It's, it's at 5.30 tomorrow in Galleria 3. All you'll hear me ask is, what's a touchdown again? What's a home run? What's a score, a green, so, go, goal? <laughs> yeah, I'm being an idiot. I'm goal, sorry. Goal, touchdown, um, red card. <laughs> oh, oh, shoot. Oh, oh geez. Sport. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right, we, we actually I'm, have to go somewhere. I'm, I'm always the butt of the card. sports. See, I'm always the butt of the sports jokes. Hey, it's because we love you, buddy. I mean, he has his own emote on Destiny 2, the red card. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot about that emote. <laughs> So yeah, we're now just talking about, uh, well, we weren't talking about Monty Python, but now I'm actually going to ask you guys a question. What? Have you ever heard of a series called Black Adder? No. <laughs> Is that a question? <laughs> so you do know. Excellent. Okay, so Black Adder, another, another like, British comedy series, only it has a lot more, like, he, he'll get into so many scenarios, and my personal favorite is called Black Adder Goes Forth, which takes place in the First World War. Uh -huh. And basically, Black Adder is the only sensible one on the whole trench line. And it makes, I, I'll show you it some, I'll show you some scenes later, and it just shows the British as these absolute incompetent <laughs> Holy uh, f***ing we, ca <laughs> we captured, we, we took some land. Oh, very good. Where is it? It's in my hand. But that's just a spit of land. Yes, that's uh, exactly how much we captured. This is the <laughs> land we captured. Uh, Which is the exact same premise as World War One. I. I talked about this in that World War One tank video I reacted to. Go check it out. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's... But yeah, Black Adder is so much funny because he just he goes off on these guys, and it's just he, he, he is like the, uh, what's the word to describe him? He is very like cynical. I think is the word cynical. cynical. Yeah. But it, it is so much fun. It's so funny, and you, you would like it if you like Mon if you guys like Monty Python, watch Black Adder. <laughs> it is he is hilarious, and he goes throughout all of history. Like he's in the Napoleonic era, he's in the modern day, he's in World War One. It's it's really just crazy. It's really a lot of fun. And actually very deep. In the end of the World War I one, he actually, um, basically the whole premise is them trying to survive in the trenches. And then at the very final episode, they're, t they're tasked with going over the wall so the, and into no man's land. And it is implied none of them make it back. <laughs> so they you spend all, all this time getting getting to love and care for these characters only for them to, to, to bite it at the end. Yeah. So it's, it can be very deep. Yeah. But yeah, so, yeah, more people showing up at the con, and Red, more vlogging, more vlogception. We're just gonna have to get used to this, we're gonna have to. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, you'll probably see us at his, at his panel, who knows, maybe some more people will crash it like they did at BabsCon last year. Oh no, that, that, that was, that, that was, that was the Brian, Brian, uh, Brian Doe and, El, and, and Ellie Ray. Yeah. <laughs> that was a, and it was so crazy. I was watching your vlogs from it, and I didn't notice. I almost, I that I like practically ran into Ellie Ray when we were doing that chase scene. Remember that? Remember take two steps out of my way. Yeah. <laughs> and I, oh, and I actually ran it, almost ran into her, and I'm just like, I watched it. And I'm just like, oh, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ellie Ray was sitting up here last year. I was, I, 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 I was here. here too. Yeah. And she tossed a piece of ice onto the floor, and she said, I'm ice skating. <laughs> I'll never understand voice actors. And trust me, no, 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 no,
Fair enough. <laughs> you see, there's, see there's, uh, there's fun voice actors and there's fun on TV. Oh my god, that is quite true. <laughs> that is quite true indeed. But yeah, it's it, it's crazy. The last Babscom was absolutely insane. It was. Like just in the first part. Uh, what I was, what I find the most funny though is I loved the uh, the ranch you got between. I think it was me and was it Fiora the Tank Girl's wife? Was it? I think it was her wife I got into the tank discussion with. Discussion. It was, so you'll you, you you'll see it in a back. So basically, um, it's a scene. Ellie, you you'll see um, Fiora and her entourage walking up the stairs. The guy Brandon Herrera that was there, act, right. like, like as of it, of it was Fiora, and I know for a fa- I know that Fiora and I like the same take. It's called the Tiger Porsche, hmm. and I and I just mentioned that it. Hey, love the Tiger P as well, and then I think it I think it was Fiora's wife who's like, oh, the Tiger P's a garbage tank, and then you just cut to, and then suddenly it cuts to me going, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> and then we just get into this, like, little fight. It's hilarious. That was my favorite part of the gun. I will treasure that forever. <laughs> oh, just a little bit of a history buff for everyone is that the Tiger tank was actually to kick off into a higher grade uh, armor for the tanks. I'm a historian. I actively do history <laughs> stuff. I react to a guy named Laser Pig, if you know who he is. So yes, I react to Laser Pig stuff, and I've already done a discussion on the Tiger Tank. I've done the Panther Paradox. <laughs> which is yeah, yeah. a modern day <laughs> tank for some reason. Hi there. Oh, no, I'm going in, <laughs> Hi. Oh. 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 It is the tailor. It is a me. It is the tailor. It's a me. What in the? <laughs> oh no. Yep. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm, 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 I am flying home right now. No, no, no. I was worried oh, this was gonna happen. We forgot, we forgot Why? Part. What? Oh come on. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting. Blind monkey. Uh, so good to see you. It's been, it's been, it's, 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 been, it's, been a, it's, it's been a long time. It has been quite a long time. <laughs> but I am upright and walking. What do you think of my new digs? Oh, that's nice. Hey, Roll nice with style, I see. <laughs> it's better than the canes. I was falling too much. That's I'll good. It's just the spinners. Spinners would be epic. Yes. Ah. But they're only on the front wheels. Yeah. Oh, I, mean, I, know, I, know, I, know, I know a cousin. I have a cousin it's in New York. I got up. It's free. Forever Free Bronx just walked in. Yeah. It's Forever Free Bronx. Now we're starting to really roll Now everyone's starting uh, to show up. Now, unfortunately, I have to go help get things set up. Good luck. Y'all won't be seeing much of me. Mm. We'll see you here and there. That's all that counts. I'm upstairs in the secret room. <laughs> I won't tell if you won't tell. I don't, I don't even know what the secret room is. Nor do I. Thank you. <laughs> now we're really starting to roll in here. I wonder who who will show up next. <laughs> Meanwhile, Red Card on four hours of sleep. How you holding up, Red Card? Shut up. I'm on two hours of sleep, by the way. <laughs> and you're in better condition than he is. No, uh, no, 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 no. No, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just dreading that that that, that AJ brought in. Oh, the, 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 no. the, the whole return the slab thing. Oh, because that's no. that's been that honest, that, that that's been driven in, into the ground. Because that's it'll be, three legs. The, yeah. You're out of ammo, Mister. <laughs> <laughs> What's your offer? <laughs> that's it. I'm getting me mad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bam! What did I do? <laughs> oh, and now he's brought the other side. Oh, he's brought the other side. Oh, oh, very nice. It's a good sign. It, it's the good sign. Oh, and, and <laughs> oh. <laughs> God, all oh the all God. the memes, everything in in, in blood. Uh, the uh, memes, the uh, memes. Mister 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 Frumble was here. Yeah. So anyway, I started blasting. Uh, uh. It, what a what a coincidence. Energy. And energy. Energy. Sports. Sport. Oh, oh, you'll be good at them. <laughs> and of course, the ever so famous Return the Slab. Oh. 
or, or suffer my curse. This night you will be visited. This night you will be visited by three plagues, each worse than the last. The things three I go to for love. Return the slap. Well, you gotta do the arm. You gotta do the arm. You You know we gotta do that now at the opening ceremonies. You know we gotta. What the the return? The, we just asked that Channing. Return the slab. <laughs> What's your return offer? Return the slab. Oh God. I am psychotic. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. Oh, I should do the other one. Just going. I am off my medication for good. three years now. <laughs> It's not a good thing. Or the best villain of them all. But I was feeling a little bit. No! 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 no. no. There goes no. Show. No. That guy is oh. nice. Oh, hi. Hello? Hello? Oh. How's it going? Are you having fun yet? We are having fun. We are actually having fun. I speak, I love to hear fat. So, yeah, I'm going to be up here on the mezzanine most of the time. Most of the time. You've got the perfect advantage. No, she has the high ground. I do have the high ground. She has. There is one thing to keep in mind. I don't care. Oh. Friday night, mm. one o'clock in the morning. Oh. Same here. Convention story time with Lime Monkey. Oh. Be warned. This is an 18 and over event only. Yeah. It is so going is to be mine. very not safe for work. Now. Not safe for. Not safe for. Not safe. Not safe for Wuna. Not safe for Wuna. Safe for Wuna. <laughs> <Not> safe for <laughs> right. I will be attending all of those panels because I have a sick mind. Oh, then you will love some of the story times. They include things like, but the dog. Nice. Or the one con we should never mention. Oh yes, the con that shall not be named. My what dog. is it named? <laughs> We're not going to name it here. You have to go to the panel. Yeah. <laughs> all I can tell you is this. Epic Smackdowns. Epic Smackdowns. Epic Smackdowns. I don't know if I can take that. <laughs> because I was there, the, the con shall not be There will be also be secrets. Secrets. I, will, I must bring my code machine in that case. <laughs> That I can tell you that the voice I also love how, like, some people, like, if you look around just, like, very discreetly, you'll see, like, some other people looking at us and going, uh, they, 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 they think we're weirdos. Oh, of course we are. We're pretty nice. We're not? What are we not? No, <laughs> exactly. True point. You are all weirdos! <laughs> it's over, Anakin. It's coming up. <laughs> oh. Oh, there you go. Oh, wow. Nice. Very nice. How much greater can you get it? Nice. Our <laughs> <laughs> We're putting toxic chemicals into our bodies. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't I don't like them to, to putting chemicals in our bodies. That's a, no, I'm, no, I'm no, not. No, no, I'm I, I know where you were going with that. Of course you are. I know. I, 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 even <laughs> to the ground along with return the slab. <laughs> yeah, I keep doing that. I mean, the return of the slab thing, I mean, that's going to be driven into oh, the ground. I should have brought, brought my red. It's, al it's already been driven into the ground. Let's drive it even more. Let's go to the core. So look at what I, 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 um, I, I, I made. The oh, my God. Why? It's 2023. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, I think it was, I, I think it was, I think it was, I think it might have been Bolt who who uh, who who gave, who gave me the idea. You should you should you should design you should design um, buttons that uh, that say I got carded by red card and uh, and uh, and I I I I I I I, 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 I asked myself why didn't I think of that before? And so, but what I didn't know is how small they'd be um, because I, because I was trying to go to I I I the. These are so small. Jeez, man, come on. Like Celestia and Pony, like, why is she oh, so small? Why is she small? I'm a small little pony. <laughs> so Dormer Shah's reaction to um, Susan, w w what's your last name again? Susan Walwiski. What? D Susan Wazowski. What's that? Mike Wazowski. <laughs> <laughs> This, this this is gonna go in the blooper reel if I do make one. <laughs> Drummer Shy's reaction to the uh, to to YouTube CEO Susan what's her what's her face what's her face st st stepping down. Freedom! <laughs> Freedom! <laughs> oh my god! 
Oh, you have no idea the pain and agony of that woman has destroyed everything. Oh my god, I hope we get somebody that actually cares. Oh my goodness, this is news. Now, god, now that, fun. now that, now that, that being, that being said, um, what if we get someone who's, I, 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 I don't know if we can get someone who's worse. And my reaction is, humanity is lost! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, jeez. Summerside is very happy about this. I'm very happy about this. I did not like this person from day one. She is destroyed. You're very heavily backlit, by the way. <laughs> no, 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 no. Keep going. No, she... You're has... backlit again! Stop! <laughs> Stop moving around! <laughs> Keep going. Okay. She has destroyed everything, and I'm just glad she's gone. Define everything. <laughs> um... The, it was a joke. Keep going. <laughs> the algorithm. The the um the bad dis decision making. The YouTube YouTube made for kids stuff. Yes, and the um and the and the Kappa stuff, right? Yeah, well, that, that, that's the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, same thing. So I think if they're gonna bring somebody qualified in, they gotta know like the original like backbone of what YouTube has become in the beginning. So I think this is a great opportunity. And plus, I think it'll brand, I think they need to go the route of what, I don't want, I don't want to be controversial about this. They need to go to the route of what TikTok is doing with, with um, how views are coming in basically. Mm -hmm. And I think if they do that, oh my God, YouTube's going to be revived from the ground up if they follow the path of what TikTok is doing. So it, I, I just hope it's a view thing, but again, this is a debate for everyone to put out, but I, I think this is a great opportunity for YouTube to to go back, 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 back to their original way they've been doing it, so they can help out creators. But again, it's Google; they're going right. to pick somebody less qualified at this point. Right. Susan, uh, Susan, Susan, just, just yeah. uh, at this point, it's just it's just pretty much just, uh, just, uh, just take their. And run with it. Yeah, literally, her career began in a garage, and I don't know how they picked her as a. And she and and she hasn't and and she really hasn't done many smart things since. So, I mean, oh, I don't know how I don't know how, how, she, how she how she got tapped to do that. Well, it's probably it's probably they drew straws. That's they, they drew straws. <laughs> but they probably, um, they probably smoked a lot of weed. But <laughs> like, stay like, off the weed. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> I was telling uh, Taylor about this on on Tuesday night. Um, there was a, there was a time where um, where I had a, a listener to the Stephen A. Smith show um, um, called excuse you called in uh, while um, while high on weed, um, and and, um, and his 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 speech was so slurred. Um, and um, Stephen A. Ori originally thought that 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 that, uh, that, that, that he, he was drinking too much, but um, the car open openly admitted weed is legal in D.C. and and and, and, and Stephen A. Smith is like. I, I got you. Have a nice day. Um, you you just admit on open airways that you uh, that, 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 that that you own some weed. Um, um, so I I got I got no problem with, with, with weed smokers as um, uh, um, as long as you ain't professional athlete and it's cost you money getting getting you suspended or call um, or or um, or call or calling into a radio show where you slurring your speech cause you ha <laughs> so because you ha goodbye. It's, it's so funny. That's just, that's just some funny stuff right it's there. It's so funny. Oh my god. <laughs> so because you ha goodbye. Wait, I, I, I need I need I need to pull this up. Hold I on, need just to create a minute. Weed called. Robert, go ahead. Yo, son, man, go ahead. I don't know who to blame. Steve, Steve Curl, Steph Curl, for shooting that shot, man. Almost a good call, but we do not shoot that shot. Mama, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I ain't lie to you, bro. You, 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 you okay? <laughs> you know, you sound like you've been drinking this early in the morning, bro. Nah, I don't You sound a little bit slurred in your speech. Legal you don't DC. sound like you drink. I don't understand you. Weed is legal in D.C. I got you. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. No, you just admit it. You want some weed. You called up the show while on some weed. I asked you if you were on something, and you said some weed is legal. I'm assuming that means Stephen A. ain't breaking no laws, but I called your show. Ha! <laughs> so guess what? Goodbye! 
It's so funny. <laughs> it's so funny. Stephen A has 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 garnered so such high ratings for ESPN. That's why I like him more than Skip Bayless, to be honest. Oh, Skip Bayless can can go suck a you know what for all I care. On, on, honestly, he's terrible. Though I think the moment where he started saying some very not like very inappropriate stuff about in front of in front of uh, Demar uh, um, Hamlin. I think that's when I lost all respect. With for with, Skip with, with 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 which with um um who's uh, uh, who, who's his opposite number on 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 Shannon Sharp uh, with, with 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 Shannon Sharp on the show. Jesus Christ, it's just not not good. I lost. I can't even believe Fox Sports even gave him a. And, the def- um, and, 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 and they're, they're not even saying anything about it either. They didn't even say anything, a word about it. Show the old Rupert Murdoch. <laughs> Idiot. Did, I, did I, you I, see during the Super Bowl that Rupert Murdoch and Elon Musk, and Elon Musk were in the same I was, same suite? I was disgusted. That, I mean, just just to, just to add just to add to my misery of that night. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen A. Smith is ready to go. So the moment is here. This is from three years ago, though. Stephen A., the floor is yours. You know what? You two find you my baby. I love you. You, my boy, my boys, my boys. Patience, patience. How do you? How do you say it? Thirty-seven. How do you? Forty-six. Oh damn it! Y'all wanna? Y'all wasn't even born. Y'all wasn't even born the last time the New York Knicks won a title. You, you, I was born in 1973. 1973. Like this outfit. We're talking about Willie <laughs> Green. That? That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about what are you talking about, Payton? The New York Knicks. First of all, we understand that the disappointment of the Patrick Ewing years because even though they teased us, the Dave Checkage and Ernie Grunford did a marvelous job of teasing us into believing that this team will win the championship, that somehow, someway they would be Jordan. They lied to us for a decade, but it's okay. It's okay. That comes with it. But that's why. That's right. That, and and lost on This started. man was previously employed by the Philadelphia Inquirer and the Philadelphia Daily News. Don't start with me. The point is, since that time, they have been moribund. They have been pathetic. They have been god awful. Oh, right. And excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. That's not the point. I'm talking mm. to you right now, Mr. Detroit, <laughs> Michigan, and all of that other stuff. You weren't thinking about no New York Knicks. Don't act like you can now. And you. And you. you. <laughs> went to Duke. Yeah, you went to Duke. He should have won an Emmy Michigan. for that. You and you. I was about New York a long time ago. And you. You, you greenie. <laughs> you, you, you co signed <laughs> So, I don't want to hear anything about no patience, man. I don't want to hear it. I spoke to the New York Knicks on several occasions over the last few months, obviously. That's their plan. If they can't get a superstar, they're going to build from the draft. They're going to go young. They're not going to spend money on second-tier players. They're not spending max dollars on second-tier players. I get all of that. But that's an entirely different mentality that, that, that we should have. The New York Knicks doing that, I understand it. But what you need to understand is by them taking that route, we have to subject ourselves to the likelihood that they're going to be mediocre or worse for at least another three years. It's worse than Damn that. it. It's worse than that. Worse? Because. <laughs> worse? It's worse. Because what if KD. And Kyrie are right, right over there. Mm. And that actually happened. <laughs> That's what's funny about this. That actually happened. This is from three years ago. And, the, and, 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 and everything, everything that they suggested would happen has, 
has come to fruition. That is that is the funniest part about about that whole rant. Yeah, and you know, it, it, it makes me feel like that they, it's like, they almost like they found the crystal ball, like. Like they have a crystal ball in front of them, and they just don't realize it. No, I mean they're insiders. I mean, I mean, they, I mean, they, 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 I mean, I mean, they get their, they get their, in, the, uh, they, they get their info like, for like what they, um, which, which makes them believe what is what's going to happen, and and uh, and and. Lo and behold, they 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 they, they figured. I I I don't know much much about the NBA um, nowadays, but 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 the, but but lo and behold, they. The, the the Brooklyn Nets organization is much better organized and much more equipped as far as, far as far as players go, as far as management goes, than the New York Knicks has ever been in the last 40-something years. Mm-hmm. And that's why Stephen A is so upset because he, because he, was, he, he grew up a diehard New York Knicks fan. Right. And he is... And, and any time the New York Knicks don't do well... Like or or just freaking tank or blow a, 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 a blow a lead. I'm, I'm going I'm going to show you a, 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 another round where where the after the Knicks blow I, I blew a 28 point lead back, back from from last um last February, but um the um he get, he gets I mean he he's tired of seeing this because the last time that the Knicks won a championship he was five. Mm-hmm. It was 1973. He was five years old. They haven't even come close, and in in twenty nineteen they he the they the Knicks were counting on on get um on being able to get the uh, to get one of the top two picks in the NBA draft, um, either get the number one or the number two, two pick, and the number and the number one um, um, draft candidate for for the 2019 NBA draft was Zion Williamson from Duke, mm-hmm. um, uh, and um, the and and Stephen A w- w- was like, w- we like w- w- we need this guy. We need Zion. We need Zion Williamson. They end up with the number three pick. And um, and um, and and the people and even even the consolation prize gone. It's like it's like the New York Knicks cannot catch a break to save their damn lives. And he goes on this rant on his show, uh, on, on 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 his radio show, uh, this Stephen A. Smith show, and and it is a it is just an epic rant, and it's meme material too. It, uh, it's like. It's like you can. That, that's what I used after the Eagles lost the Super Bowl. It's like, 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 a whole bunch of circumstances just, just, piled together, like, like to produce, to to produce the the loss for the for the Eagles. I I, I posted that in the in the sports channel of Blubcon uh, as as like, as, it's Stephen A. going off and saying, I am having a very bad day. <laughs> I am having a very bad day. I'm in no mood. This, today, <laughs> is one of the worst days that I've had in a long time. I'm not in the mood to play with anybody. My brother, Bomani Jones, is in another booth looking at me. I love that brother. I don't want to talk to you today. <laughs> I've got producers who have been very, very good to me. I've got bosses who have been very, very good to me. This poor man has seen I've enough. I've got co-workers <laughs> that I love. I don't want to talk to anybody. My godson, Jonathan Barnes, is sitting right in front of me, and I don't want to look at him. I'm ticked off. I mean, this is just... A, and, and, and Sean Farnham... On get up this morning with Mike Greenberg, him and his Benedict Arnold self. <laughs> and his Benedict <laughs> Arnold <laughs> self. In the morning, acting like this, this is just a good day to just laugh. It's always a laugh with the New York Knicks for non-New York Knicks fans. I thought Mike Greenberg was a good man. I thought he was a person that didn't like to watch people suffer. And it ain't 
damn Pablo out there with Bomani. He's standing in the hallway laughing at me too. This is not funny. It's not funny. I mean, this is a terrible, terrible day. I don't know about the rest of you. I don't know about the rest of you. But if you are a Knicks fan, this is the equivalent of being kidnapped. Stored in a basement? Being tortured! And then they let you out when you have no use to anybody. <laughs> I mean, you just can't make this up. I'm telling you right now, I got an attitude with everybody. Every damn body. Even that, that damn Spike Lee, I heard he's in the Philippines. He's lucky he's not New York City. <laughs> If you are not a Knicks fan, you make me sick. I don't like any of you. <laughs> any of you. Because every, today is a laughing day for all of you. I mean, damn it. <laughs> it never, ever, ever goes our way. And that damn Golick and Wingo on the radio show this morning, I mean, Trey Wingo, and that Golick calling me up. We just want to make sure you're okay. You don't care. You can pretend all you want. You didn't care about me. <laughs> Adrian Wojnarowski, our ultimate insider. You see that look of glee on his face? I know he's objective. I know he's just giving you out the information. But did he have to have that smile on his face, Nuno, when he was giving us the news? about the New York Knicks. 